Hey guys, Odin and I are here at the Peninsula Nature Trails in Lake Placid, New York. It's a short um, bunch of trails that go uh, ar around the edge of Lake Placid. So he's just been to the vet with it for a checkup and we're gonna, he's raring to go, so we're headed down the trail. So there's an organization that uh, sponsors this trail and they've got these little interpretive signs scattered throughout tell you about the forest and whatnot. Trails are interconnected and they're fairly short so we're going to do probably a little over a mile. Um, whenever you hike up here in the Adirondacks make sure you fill out these log books because they help give an idea of how many people are using the trail except this one seems to be full so we are not going to sign the log book all right so Odin is really pulling because he, he wants to get going so we're not signing the log book two things one we just came a bunch across a bunch of people with their three laps and some other dog and of course didn't have them leashed and I can tell you what these dogs didn't have perfect recall they were all they were the three big ones were labs so they're generally friendly dogs so they came up to Odin and you know they were all smelling and whatnot but three dogs you don't know versus you when you're 12 and they're all young is scary so he was a little scared so the people were quite a ways down the trail not paying any attention to what their dogs are doing having a conversation and so I asked them to call them back. They mostly went. And they had a smaller dog that was way behind them on the trail. They warned me about. And he wouldn't leave Odin alone either. So people, if you're out here walking your dogs and you don't have perfect control over them, and very few people do, keep them on a leash, when you, especially when you see another dog coming. I always, if Odin's off leash, I always try to catch him and put him on leash if I see somebody coming in time. Um, they, they saw me coming, they saw him, they saw Odin, they didn't have any concern whatsoever. And just let all three of the dogs mob us. Nobody did anything mean or anything, but you just, you don't know. You don't know, I don't know, he don't, Odin doesn't know, they don't know what Odin's gonna do. Just stupid. And then not to have any freaking care about it, you know. Yeah, they apologize, but you know. Don't let it go on so long. So we're gonna, I was trying to take the Lakeshore Trail, but this map is sketchy and the trail markings are sketchy. And uh, I suck at reading maps right now. Okay, so supposedly all these trails are a loop. So it doesn't matter which one you go on, you're gonna find your way back. Uh, not sure if we're on the trail we want to be on, but we'll go for a ways. And it's a nice night walk in the woods one way or the other. Worst comes to worst, we turn around. I was hoping they'd be a little better marked. Oh, there's something up here up ahead. So the, we found the ridge trail, which helped me coordinate our spot on the map. So we are. Just came across another dog on a leash, a little bit better, but we are now going to go up here a little bit and take a left. That'll get us to the Lakeshore Trail. Owen is being really uncooperative. I think he's just excited. I don't know if you can see back in there or not, but there's water back in there, so we're probably along the shore. Of, all right, so this must be the turn. So this is the Boundary Trail via the Lake Placid Outlet. Yeah, this map. This map makes no sense. That makes no sense at all. Again, I'm, I'm bad at reading maps, but the scale is all skewed. Something. I think we're on this main road. 
which will eventually take us to see they've got the trail labeled Ridge Trail and then it makes a corner and it's called the Lakeshore Trail. So we're gonna walk on a ways. I believe we are where that road maybe I'll put an indicator in here later where that where the big road hits the dotted trail up near the top corner there. I believe that's where we are because there's the parking area back the way we came. Now it's pointing towards the Lakeshore Trail. Um, not, they're not telling you what that yellow, there's a yellow trail marker over there holding this pulling. Uh, there's some notes for cross country skiers. This would make a very cool cross country ski, cross -country ski trail. Wow, that was hard. Um, so we're gonna, it's getting a little muddy. And all I have on are my, uh, my Nike, her New Balance these are, I guess. So, all right, Lakeshore Trail via, to the Boundary Trail, 0.45 miles. Oh, we're in for a little longer than I thought. All right, getting, getting a little muddy, so we'll continue on. So we made it. Lunch on the Lakeshore Trail. Well, slow down. Over. We stopped to have lunch on this little bench. Let's sit here, a nice little view of the Lake Placid. Quite a few people on here. I've come across two or three more people. Okay, so we're in another overlook here. Hopefully I'm looking into the camera right. Uh, met some more people and got petted by a couple little girls. He loves that. But he is really impatient. Really pulling. Really wanting to keep moving. I don't know why. I think he'd be tired. He's 12 years old. <clears throat> Walking him on a leash in this kind of conditions. I don't know if I've said this already. Is... Uh, Tricky at best, so now we're on to what you think is a typical Adirondack trail. There's roots and rocks and trees. Probably typical of a lot of trails in the northeast. Um, there are blue markers on this lit we're on the Lakeshore Trail now, I believe. And I believe we did what my pre-planning uh, had called for. That's what I was the, I think this is the trip we wanted to do. Unfortunately, leaving the GPS back at the car, I won't have an exact track of our walk, which was my whole point. But I always feel rushed. There's the view again. Lake Placid is, motor boats are allowed on Lake Placid. Um, Odin, come on, buddy. You need to slow down. You're killing yourself. It's just ridiculous. So we're going to continue on the Lakeshore Trail until that meets up with the main trail, I believe. Here's, here's another interpretive sign. These are scattered throughout the trail, which is really good for people who want to get out and learn something who don't already know a lot of this stuff. All right, so we're gonna continue. Looks like I found uh, Log Lady's log. It's lying here, she must've dropped it. Okay, so we've reached another crossing of trails. So we have Boundary Trail to the Road, point three, and a Lakeshore Trail via the Ridge Trail, or to the Ridge Trail, is where we just came from. And then there's an arrow pointing up that way, and the Boundary Trail is that way, I guess. I don't know. This, like I say, these markings are not, uh, and there's these little things all around A, B, C, I don't know what those are, because uh, there's no indication of that on the map. So we're going to take the point three to the road. I don't know if that is uh, main road, which is 86 or 73, one of them. Um, 
or if it is the forest road that we kind of walked up. So 0.3 miles is going to get us our next checkpoint here. So. so there's this little dock you can go out on. Odin could get in the water here. It's a sandy beach, so it's much easier for him to get in. So he got that. And there appears to be a concrete. This must be the dam up here. So we're gonna get some of the fishes are gonna be coming along and we're gonna take right on by. Once again I came to a trail with no signage and it split. We went across the dam. One sign was to the jackrabbit trail, which is a trail further away from here that I did not want to get on. So we crossed a bridge and a dam and we're proceeding on this trail which hopefully will take us back to the car. Still pulling quite a bit. So another group, two groups of people. One pet it out in. And the other one was sitting on the bridge with their little dog. So that was tricky. It was a narrow bridge and we had to cross. But Odin was good on that. He just kind of ignored him and ignored the people and the little dog and kept on going. So it was a bridge with no railings or anything. So hopefully we are on the right track. Keeping my uh, private drive, private road. We are crossing a private road. So, private road. We stay on oh, this way, bye. Okay, apparently we are on the Jackrabbit Trail. That was not what the sign indicated. So, we're going to have to follow the Jackrabbit Trail out to the road and backtrack to the car. So this is going to be a lot longer than I anticipated. Hopefully it wouldn't hold us out. Check back in a little while. Okay guys, so um, I think we finally found our way back. This this place is seriously a maze of trails that, that splits and there's no indication on the little map that they provide um, on what where you're supposed to go and the trails aren't even marked um, in a lot of cases. So I believe we are headed back in the right direction after several uh, redirects and went halfway down the rap, uh, jackrabbit trail and ended up at the white face lodge which was getting further away from where we we're supposed to be so i believe we are now very close to the car so hopefully here shortly we will be on our way out odin is starting to get tuckered out but he's still pulling quite a bit so down this way a little bit should be the car there are other people heading in this direction so Hopefully, we are on the right track. I should have, once I realized I left the GPS in the car, I should have started a uh, track on my phone. I think I'll follow back, at the very least. Because this trail, we just hit a trail. We came out and it went, it went left or right with no indication of which way to go. So, I just winged it and took a left and I think we're back yeah we're back here well we made it folks I didn't think we were good in there for a second this this honestly is one heck of a mess of trails funny thing is people who uh, probably been in the woods a lot less than I have uh, we're, we're finding our way around fine um, it seemed like every time there was a fork in the road and I chose the fork, I chose the wrong fork. Um, so we got a little uh, sidetracked. I did manage to get a GPS track uh, from the when we figured out we were totally lost. Uh, back to where we are now. And we're not a battery here. So... Um, I don't know if I'll be able to export that or not with the program I'm using on the phone. Um, maybe I'll put a screenshot of it. But we'll do a little, try to do a little post hike analysis uh, section after the end. For right now, we are going to head home. It is one o'clock. Uh, we were out there for, for quite a while, a couple hours anyway. Odin is uh, plum tuckered out back there. I don't know if you can see him, but 
He's behind me. Let's head out the window there. All right, so anyway, thanks for watching this uh, disaster. Um, but, you know, you learn something. Uh, we'll, we'll look over the map and see where we went wrong. Okay, guys. So, I think I finally figured out um, kind of what went wrong between looking at the map that I had with me, and that is this map that you're looking at here, the Pen Peninsula Nature Trails at Lake Placid. Um, tip, read these descriptions, and it will uh, hopefully help you and not get you lost like I did. Had I paid attention to the blue marker, yellow marker, red marker, um, I would have probably done a lot better than I did. Um, but I figured this was an easy trail, and I just kind of rushed my way through it, which was not smart. So um, this is the map I had in my hand. So basically, you're coming in uh, on Route 86, uh, the road that runs between Saranac Lake and Lake Placid. And you're going to get to the Howard Johnson. Well, it used to be a Howard Johnson. It's something different now. Uh, and then the Comfort Inn. And there's this little road that runs up. It's got a DEC sign there, as they're saying. That runs up literally, you look like you're driving through the inn. Um, and you get up here and you park. So what we ended up doing, best I can figure, is we went from here. We walked the point four miles to here, where I then showed you the map with a little red indicator on it. We did the corner. We stopped and had lunch probably somewhere in this area. So we did this 0.45 miles here. I think we saw this trail going this way and it's opted not to take it. We could have and got back to the car. Um, then we went up this way. Went across the dam where I talked about seeing the people and, the, and their little dog on the bridge. And we walked across that. Then ended up on the Jackrabbit Trail and off... Um, off this map and then eventually found our way back. I have the actual partial track from my phone. So we started this 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 is the map my walk website uh, and it's a little twitchy so I'm gonna try to zoom in and out here um, so you can see where you're what, what went on. So basically back here is where I started. Then we did this to here and then along here and we went wrong this is, this is very twitchy we went wrong right in here so we should have taken that trail this way back out to the car but instead because I think the signs here were pointing in the wrong direction or you know the arrows weren't right or something there's some things were worn off too um, so we ended up going down this way, so that's actually the return track, because I started the phone track here when I was like, yeah, this isn't right. Um, we ended up going up this way. This is the White Face Club. Yeah, see, I don't want to zoom there, but this is the White Face Club and Resort. Uh, we ended up here, saw a bunch of people riding their golf carts. I almost walked up to this road, but I would have probably been trespassing, because um, I knew this was going to take us out somewhere. Um, I thought it would, but <laughs> that would have been way off, and we would have been going for a quite, quite a bit longer. We ended up walking down here to this. Uh, there's a gravel pit, and I'm pro I might have been trespassing here. I hope I wasn't. Sorry if I did. Uh, figured out we were totally screwed. I uh, think I was using the um, compass on my phone, and it got me back. I had an actual compass in my my backpack, but I'm I'm not terribly good with that. I would really like to take a course in map reading and orienteering so that I have some indication of of how to read a map and whatnot, because I'm really not good. That's why I try to stick to trails that are well marked. Um, but we did find our way out, obviously. So so then we came back down here. We recrossed the dam. We're back over here. So we hit here, uh, left with another quandary. Do we, do, what way do we go? Not knowing what these trails were. Uh, not really having a good idea where I was on the map. I kind of did. Um, not, not, nothing marked here again, I don't believe. Opted for this trail, which, which either way would have got us to here. Um, people were coming and going on both sides of this trail, up this way, down that way. Uh, this is the Jackrabbit Trail right here. And I believe that Jackrabbit Trail goes like this um, and continues to there. Um, not positive, though. Uh, so anyway, we got here. We got here, recognized this intersection from when we had come down and made our way back to the car. Um, 
so that's it. We ended up probably doing there was at least a mile. This track's a little over a mile long, um, so this was pretty much from here and all this here was pretty much a waste of time and, and frustration. So I think we probably did closer to three miles, if not more, when you added all that up. Um, that's kind of why I like to keep the GPS track with me, and I should have started that earlier. But that is the um, Booster Peninsula Trails. Nice trail, and I would do it again, um, maybe without Odin, um, and maybe do this loop here, have lunch over there, and then come back out. So anyways, guys, that's that's what went on. Um, we did find our way back. Um, it was a very frustrating exercise between Odin pulling and me not knowing where I was and being a little rushed. I always feel rushed when I'm doing these videos. I just need to learn to relax. Um, I will put links to the website I used to download the brochure. You can read about the trails there if you want to go. Yeah, like I said, there are good trails, and as long as you pay attention and read the directions, you should be fine. Um, just be aware that there are a lot of roots, not a lot of elevation change, but there are a lot of roots and rocks. So if you have difficulty with that kind of stuff, um, you may want to avoid this trail. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.